Hey guys, it's Let Your Light Shine, and I am here at the Yorba Linda Lake Bed, also known as a reservoir in the past. And we're also going to find some geocaches, so check it out with us. All right, I am here with my buddy Adam and, of course, Epic's Hero OC. We're looking for our puzzle cache, which brings us somewhere around here. We're also in the lake bed now. They have turned it into a kind of like a bike trail, horse trail, walk trail, whatever you want to call it. All right, so it's somewhere around here, isn't it? Behind you, sure. Behind you. That's what I thought. I was thinking that same thing. Something about in the middle, or at least a hint said that. Hey, there's a, there's a lizard. Yay, we there's found it. <laughs> Hidden in this not so fun area. But thank God it was the stick, because I wasn't going to reach my hand down there. Thank you very much. We were expanding our search over here, too, but yay. Puzzle caches are hard to find, and this guy right here figured it out for us. Thank you, because I have plenty of other mystery caches I don't want to figure out, so I'll just give them to you, okay? You don't usually find them either. Oh, shut up. Morning. That was rude. Morning. <laughs> Morning. All right, as we walk to the next cache, let me tell you more about the history of this place as they talk about Pokemon. All right, so in the 1870s, the Anaheim Union Canal was constructed to bring irrigation water from the Santa Ana River to the area that is now Yorba Linda, Placentia, East Fullerton, and East Anaheim. It was originally called the Cajon Canal. And by the way, we're gonna, our next cache is like right smack in the middle of this lake bed, so it's kind of creepy, because if you think about it, this used to be full of water, and now we're walking through where water was once, and fishies swam. All right, moving on. In 1902, the land occupied by the Yorba Reservoir was acquired by the Anaheim Union Water Company. In 1905, construction of the Yorba Reservoir began. And I'm gonna show you some pictures of what it used to look like back in its day. Alrighty then, I'm back. 1908, the Yorba Reservoir first used to store water. And in 1932, the dam and part of the reservoir bottom were treated with oil to reduce seepage, an ongoing issue with the dam. And the dam's like way on the other side. I forgot how big this place is. We probably will make the round less than an hour, I'm thinking. It's been a while since I've been down this way, but it's actually, I forgot about this place. It's pretty cool to take your bike. I saw a few YouTube videos of people taking their bike and they're doing tricks and all sorts of fun stuff. So, anyway, 1940, the height of the dam was increased to give a spillway level water surface of 60 acres. In 1951, Extensive soil treatment of the dam was completed to reduce seepage. So it seems like be an ongoing issue here. In 1963, reservoir seepage was estimated at 8 to 12 acre feet per day. A management report of the Anaheim Union Water Company recommended that all water related activities be discontinued. And in June 1969, the Yorba Reservoir was drained. This is what we have now. All right, I gotta make sure I'm following them too. I don't get lost in here as we walk into the middle of this place. 1972, the Yorba Reservoir was acquired by the Orange County Flood Control District for use as a flood retarding basin. 1973, a dam safety analysis showed the dam unsafe to impound water permanently in 75, the reservoir outlet gate was removed and a debris barrier installed. In 79, 
Yorba Linda Lake Bed Association Incorporated was formed to protect and promote the natural open space and wildlife environment. And 2014 and ongoing, the citizens of Yorba Linda are tasked with a continued endeavor to protect and promote the natural open space and wildlife environment. Which, so far so good. And we're also going to look for blackberries last time, a few years back. They had some wild blackberries here. So we're going to see if we can't find those because they're delicious. All right, well, I hope you guys enjoyed my little bit of history of this place. And now we're going to look for a few geocaches. Hopefully you'll find some blackberries and also get a nice little walk in. So enjoy. By the way, if you're looking for the location of this place, it's basically off the streets, Lakeview Avenue and either Orange Thorpe or Esperanza, same street, and um, I think Buena Vista. So we ended up parking off Buena Vista because that's where we found the puzzle cache. But the dam is located more off the Lakeview Avenue, Orange Thorpe, Esperanza area. Just so you know. And it's, you know what? I want to say it's Yorba Linda but, because it's called the Yorba Linda Reservoir. But we're really on the borders of Placentia as well. So it's kind of in that area. All right, moving on. All right. Last time we were here, it was like, right in the middle was like going through and under trees, like a, almost like a tunnel of them. So, I don't know. I guess it still is kind of like that over here. We're at GZ, ground zero, my friends. I think this is a big cache too. It's called Cachezilla, so that makes sense. Probably a lot of swap items in here. Oh yeah, you know what? Yeah, it's not, uh, all the leaves are gone, but yeah, this is that, I was just talking about the tunnel of trees. And this is, I think the same area we walked before. People have found it though, there's no DNF, so there should be, should be an easy find. Somewhere around here. Over there, so it looks like it'd be in that. Somewhere over here. Is there poison ivy? Yeah, so. Is there poison ivy? It could be. We need Stan to detect that for us. Yeah. All right. What? What? All right. So we are not finding it yet. The hint is leave me alone. So I was assuming like a decon. It says a medium. So a decon container maybe with leaves hanging on a branch. Probably right in front of our faces. All we did find was this creepy either burial site or fire pit, hoping that is the latter. All right, we expanded our search, but Adam found it. Who are you talking to? Not you. I'm talking to my one friend that watches this. Uh, maybe it's a troll. <laughs> so the one person that might be watching this. So we looked on, well, you looked under. Go look in that hole. I want to. Don't make me. Oh, there it is. Yep. There we are. Where? Right there. It's a big container, too. Boom. Big, big container. Look at horses on the trail. Very pretty. Right there, right in front of us. All right, we're on to the next cache. Are you stumped yet? So, oh yeah, you know what? Here's something. I think I see a stump by the tree over here. Or no, I don't. <laughs> Helps me when the sun's in your eyes. The heck is that thing? Oh, no. Well, that's not a stump. All right. This is like a offset of the lake bed. Takes you down this trail. All 
All right, this cache hasn't been found for about eight months or so, and here is a stump and it's not in there. So we're guessing it's gone. That's a bummer. Although the art of geocaching, you don't want to give up because you just want that dang smiley. It's always disappointing, especially when you can't find any of them. You have a whole day of DNFs. Wow, look at this. Stairs, stairs to the coolest treehouse ever. How cool. Wow, that looks like fun. Nice. All right, so now we're on some kind of cliff. Yeah. Are you finding more stuff? Uh, yeah, they also have a cross which you can hang yourself on because this. What? You see it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> With the ropes and Oh, my God. Oh, That's my kind God. Of weird. Oh, that is weird. I mean, maybe it's a tie up for a horse? In uh, theory? sure. <laughs> maybe <laughs> two horses? So what is that other flag? They have, like, around the three. world, like, three crosses that this one guy. Put all over the place, but that that's not it. Flag. No. Yeah, I was wondering about that too. Oh, yellow flag. By the right under the, the American, American flag. flag. The yellow flag. There's a blue flag. Oh. You can't tell which. It's what the yellow one's a tree. Hmm. That looks crazy though from this angle. The... Wow. Well, this is um <clears throat> how high we are at the moment. This lake was deep. Quite the interesting uh, name. Human. And they're selling. Whoa. There was a huge swing over somewhere over there on a tree. Very tall. Probably swing right over this lake bed. Look at this view. Hence the name Lakeview Avenue at one time. All right, moving right along. All right, we have found the dam. Dam hike. Yes. Dam people. my fault, I'm scared of Okay, how cool. So this thing was not doing the best of job, jobs at the end. That's why they had to drain the lake. And this is what we have today. Wow. Ooh, now we are at the field. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, jeez. Here we are. Adam's making fun of me. There's the alien bunker. Ooh. It almost looks like the cages at the old LA Zoo. Bunker. They said they um, turned it into like a debris basin or something like that. I wonder if this was it. And he is always climbing on things. What's this? Oh wow. There's a couple of those oil rigs. I wonder if those are the ones what they used to pull the oil that they used to stop the oil the water seepage. Yep. Just a thought. Yeah, I believe it. Will this trail take us? Yep. Good. Looks cool. Yay! Wow, look at that. 
Still no uh, blackberries yet. Ooh, look at soft sand. Not a good bike trail in this section. Wow. Okay, this is very soft sand and lots of rocks. What lurks in there? I don't want to know. I remember having a lot of fun playing when I was younger. Play game boy. I play game boy. Gotta take a picture. Don't be knowing. This is kind of cool. This looks like we're in a section of flooding area or something. It's, but it's cool looking, all the same. All right, no look on the blackberries. We think they're gone, but here's uh, the drainage area. Isn't that exciting? Oh yes, it is. Oh yes. All right, we're on the other side here, overlooking that drainage pipe. And there's lots of fish in there. Koi, maybe? Goldfish? I don't know. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching this vlog on the Yorba Linda Reservoir with some geocaching in there. And uh, now it's the lake bed where you can hike, bike, and or take a horse. So. Uh, Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, all that fun stuff. That's all I got. And no such like on the old blackberries. Nope. We think they're gone. So, all right. Until then, bye.